Well, good morning, YouTube. On today's vlog, I am going to be doing a mostly whole house clean with me. I have some company coming over tomorrow and our house just needs a decent cleaning. I feel like it should be springtime and I would love to start spring cleaning, but it is 10 degrees out and it's still only beginning of February, so that's not gonna happen. But I am going to start with Nevaeh's room because she's in her bouncer right now and she's crawling all over the place and it's hard to um, leave her in one room and clean her room so I'm going to, her floors just need a good swiffering because, you know, dust bunnies get over. So I'm going to do that. I still have dishes in the sink to finish up. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to bring you along with me today. Okay, this is disgusting, but I love doing this, putting a microfiber cloth on a Swiffer pad, and then I just use the Method Squirt and Mop, and that seems to work pretty well. I am very low on this, so I need to get some more, but this works really well. I do it in my kitchen, any hardwood surfaces that I have. <laughs> and good timing because she's ready to get out of her bouncer. working on some monster cookie bars aren't we honey <laughs> yeah it is um something i'm using for our guests that are coming tomorrow i am mixing up all the ingredients here and if i need to go down for a nap but um i thought i would show you what it looks like thus far i'm kind of um cutting back the recipe in half because i don't need all of them and plus i only have two eggs and I am going to use one right now. So I also make my own brown sugar. I just put molasses in white granulated sugar. So it's just right now I just have the butter and the sugars and the egg in there. And then I'll put oats and peanut butter. And I don't even have chocolate chips. So I'm going to use butterscotch and white. Oh yeah, she wants the green whisk. And then I'm going to use some lovely Christmas M&M's to put in it. So... Yes, we're gonna go see if she wants to eat some more and go down for her nap. What do you think? Yeah? Is that what we're doing? Mm hmm. Is that what we're gonna do?
So I've had these Walmart boxes sitting in our kitchen. This one, for sure, for a week. I have some clothes I'm donating in there. It's kind of our donation box. But I do not like it there. It's just been sitting there. I asked Blaze not to get rid of it. And then I got this one in the mail. I don't know um, if you guys do this, but I do order from Walmart quite often. We don't live super close. And $35 for free shipping. It's pretty stinking good and honestly like if you order a pack of dog food for this girl out there then that gets you three-fourths of the way to $35 and we use like this is fragile so let's see what's in there I think I know oops but I just want to see if it's what I think it is oh good I make my own hot chocolate so I use this sometimes yay um, I needed some more of that, and yep, I'm right. I know what's in here. Yep, that's what I ordered. I always order two of these. Um, we like the natural creamy peanut butter, and then Nevaeh loves it too, because there's no extra sugar, nothing in it, so it's perfect. And then I get two of those for like, I want to say it's eight fifty, so that's really good price. And so. Um, yeah, so I'm not afraid to order from Walmart. I order quite a bit from there actually. And I think it's really okay because some people may not like Walmart, but why not? They still have good products. So um, yeah, anyways, I'm just trying to still clean up. That's why I showed you this, get rid of some of these boxes. And then I need to vacuum some steps, but Nevaeh is sleeping. So um, she does not really like the vacuum. So I'll vacuum the living room and the piano room a little bit later, but I'll vacuum the steps probably now, leading down to Blaze's office area, which you do not ever really see because it's his area and it's really not the greatest looking area. It's not like a part I love to showcase, but hey, it's real life and it's okay if you see that part of our house um he will be moving out of the basement for his business here hopefully like by fall uh we have a lot of projects that we are planning to do we own a shed and the lot next to us we bought that like a year and a half ago and so we'll be fixing that up and he'll be moving out to that so then the basement will be more of a livable space for us instead of our upstairs area that's about 950 square foot is the area of the house that we have so um okay those are the things i'm gonna clean up i digressed a little bit so change of plans nevaeh only slept for about half an hour this morning so far i didn't get to vacuum the steps um i kind of shook some rugs out on the porch but didn't film it and now maggie's <laughs> sleeping in the back porch it's kind of her little area can you hear that? I think she's teething. I had to feed her again. Um, Cause she didn't really eat much before she went down for her nap. Uh, her cheeks are so red, poor little girl. I don't know what to do. Um, she has had an ear infection in the past. So I just put oregano oil diluted around her ear. And then to help soothe her gums, I put clove with glycerol, um, a carrier to put on her gums to help soothe that too. I try not to um, 
do as much with the Tylenol because I did that for like three weeks straight when she was first teething and I just felt so bad. So I'm trying to do it a little more natural. I use Young Living oils and um, they seem to work pretty well because I'll do that at night and she falls asleep really well. But yeah, right now she's just going mom, mom, mom. So I'm gonna just stay right up here in this area. I'm catching up on Lynette Yoder's videos, uh, watching her birth vlog, so that's kind of fun. And then I think I'm just gonna clean my air vents because they get super dusty. And I need to get rid of some of this. I like having a few pictures up here, but I don't like to clutter it much. So um, I need to dust a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that. This one I do wipe down pretty regularly, but it gets kind of dirty in there. And I spray painted these a couple years ago because they were a tan color. So I'm just gonna dust those. I might as well dust every little ledge here while I'm at it. There you go. Might as well dust this too. grocery store it's pretty nice out it's like 35 so we walked but the bananas look pretty rough they're either really green or very overripe so hmm I guess I'll pick up one of these oh here's one one lone yellow one The store 
was so quiet. There was like nobody here. This is nice thing about a small town grocery store on a Saturday afternoon. Perfect. That is a sweet price because I need some tomato soup. Yay! Well, the trip to the store was a nice little outing and now Nevea is actually down for her second afternoon nap. She was so tired today. She's been slightly constipated, so I used some Digi's on her belly and she went within about 30 minutes of me giving it to her and so now I think she's tired. Um, I am on my second cup of coffee. I made some more in my French press. This we've had for two years from Amazon. Um, I can put it down in the description box under my Amazon affiliates. Um, it's time for a new one because it's it's a little warped. But anyways, second cup, I only filled it like half full. My Monster Bars turned out great. I have been snitching on it all day. So they are delicious. And if I remember, I'll put the recipe in the description box as well. It's gluten-free or I should say... There's no flour in it. Um, the oats, depending on what you use, may have gluten. And then I'm freezing my overripe bananas that I purchased at the store right now. And then I think I'm just going to fold some laundry out in the living room. Um, if golf is on, I may turn on some golf. It's so relaxing to me. Uh, if you didn't know, I golfed all through elementary school, through college. I coach my middle school and high school team that I at school where I teach. Um, so golf is a great winter sport to watch when it's on TV because it's so beautiful and sunny. And it's one of those sports you can walk away and come back and you won't really miss much. And I just love it. So we'll see if that's on. It is like 3.30 right now. She'll probably only sleep for a half hour, 40 minutes. If she falls asleep, you probably hear her talking to herself in the background. I'm going to finish this stuff up here and then probably fold some laundry. Well, the cleaning didn't go quite as planned today. I ended up taking Nevaeh's temperature because she just was fussy all day and she had about 102 temp. So um, yeah, I ended up taking care of her for a while. She's down for bed and it's 5.30 and she's been asleep for about 20, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes now. Um, she normally goes to bed pretty early, about 5.45, 6 o'clock. So this though is really early and it's quiet. I did some uh, cloves on the gums to help soothe that and then the oregano around the ears to help soothe that if that's the issue. We, I gave her a bath that helped drop her temperature too. So I hope it was just a fluke. Oh, and she did throw up too. <laughs> so all of that happened within the time from folding laundry till her going down, which was like an hour. Um, yeah, so cleaning today didn't happen as much as I was hoping, but that's okay. People are coming to see us, not the house. I gotta remember that, and my husband reminds me of that. And he is back now, too, from helping the friend with his basement where he was at all day. Uh, I'm going to make some southern biscuit muffins to go with the chili that I am having tomorrow. I'm gonna prep all the meat and stuff so that it can go in a crock pot during church tomorrow, and then... And we can eat it for lunch with the company that we have. And then I have, so tomorrow for lunch is Blaze's parents. And then tomorrow for supper is my parents. It just happens to be how it ended up working out today. Because my parents have to come up this direction for an appointment for my dad. And so they're just going to stop by. Anyways, it's going to be a full day. But it'll be nice to see everybody. So I'm going to make those. I'm probably going to call this vlog here otherwise it's gonna get really long so i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you enjoy following along with our little family and i hope to see you in the next one